Hey you guys, it's Sina. Today is Monday, February the 8th, and I am having a good morning so far. I hope you all are. I am, I found my Fitbit, you guys. Um, so I will be back on Fitbit, uh, catching up on my challenges. I'm way behind because this thing keeps falling off. But to reward myself for some of the um, achievements I've hit, that's gonna be my reward. I'm gonna be upgrading myself. I'm just kind of looking into the different ones. I want to stay in the Fitbit community because we, we have a lot of fun. So I'll get back to that later when I decide which one I'm going to get. Um, today's video, you guys, is going to be about ketogenics. So some of you guys may not want to stay on or whatever, but if that's the case, see ya. <laughs> have a good day. Um, I've been getting tons and tons of questions about keto, keto, keto. So ketogenics. So. I'm gonna. This may be a little scripted because I want to cover some things um, that I have learned. I'm not a doctor. I totally am not an expert on this, but these are just some of the things that I have learned along my way of my keto journey. So I'm gonna be a little, you know, reading some paper and things that I wrote down for you guys. Um, I'm gonna have some very, very important information in the description box below. Some links and things that could help you that helped me. Okay, so we're gonna get started, you guys. The ketogenic diet is a low carb diet. A lot of you have heard of Atkins or even low carb diet, but not so much ketogenics. And ketogenics is just a little more extreme. Um, you're trying to get your body into ketosis. And what ketosis is, is you're trying, your body is going to reset itself. Your body is going to learn to control its own blood sugar, your own blood sugar without you having to grab a cookie or candy or junk that we usually would run to when our blood sugar crashes. And we're learning, our body learns to not crave those things either, not as much. And um, I have found it to be very, very helpful for me not being hungry all the time. Um, once you get into ke um, ketosis, you will find that your cravings reduce so much that it's amazing. Some people may say I don't eat enough calories. Some people may say that I'm starving myself. It is what it is. It, whatever works for you works for you. I eat and I eat well and I eat good foods. Um, but now that my body's in, to, into ketosis, I, I'm not as hungry. So I may go, you know, hours without eating, not even realizing it because I'm not hungry. Um, our bodies tell us when we're hungry, and when we're hung when I'm hungry, I eat. So down below in the description box, you will find the link to the keto calculator. And in the keto calculator, it's going to help you start. It's going to help you to learn where your macros should be. And it's going to, uh, from when your calories, your fat, and your protein. And on the keto calculator, you're going to enter your sex, your female or male, and you're going to enter your body weight and your height and your birth date. And it will start from there and it will, it will tell you exactly what, what steps are next. Um, it will give you a general idea of where your body fat is. You can either use that number or if you know your number of your body fat, uh, the percentage, you can enter that in there. And then it will ask you um, how active are you, moderate or no exercise at all, or if you're very active, because that will play a role too. Um, once you punch in all your information at the bottom, it will give you um, your macros for the day. Um, it will give you how many calories you should have. It will give you how many fat grams, how many protein grams. Um, I will say I recently, I haven't done the, my, uh, the keto calculator in a while and I did it today just to do this video and I'm nowhere near my macros, nowhere near. Um, if I was to eat as many macros as it says, I don't know if I could stomach it. it. It really is a lot. You will get a lot of food. And you adjust your body to how you feel. But to start off, start off with your keto calculator and stay within those so that you can train your body first. I would not say go cold turkey. Um, that's a mistake I think a lot of people make. They just jump into this head first and they feel horrible. Um, there's something called the keto flu. I personally did not get it. A lot of people did, and they said it feels just like the flu. Um, aches and you, you feel sick. Um, I did not because I have been gluten free a lot longer than I have been on keto. So I was already eliminating processed foods. So I think that helped. 
Um, so definitely, number one, start with your keto calculator. That's so, so, so important. Um, I would say to start generally, to start at like 30 to 50 net carbs to start off with. Give yourself a week with that and then start decreasing yourself. Myself, I try to stay under 20 whole carbs a day. And the difference is um, net carbs, um, you're, you're subtracting the fiber in food. So if a, if a food has 10 carbohydrates and five fiber, then that means it's five net carbs. So a lot of the websites that I have linked below will explain that in, more for you. Um, there are so, so many websites that can help you. There's so many videos that can help you. Um, and I have playlists below. I have playlists for exercising. I have playlists for keto. I have playlists um, to really, really help you, to, to get you started. Um, I will give you an example of what I eat in a day. Usually in the morning, I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I have a business that I run, and I have to go check on some things in the morning. So I'm out of the house by 5.30. And I will take my Bulletproof coffee, which you will learn to love or not at all. Um, in my Bulletproof coffee, I have a, a hot cup of coffee, and I put a half a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil. I use the Trader Joe's brand. I love this stuff. I use this stuff on everything. Um, it is. It just tastes better to me. I can actually taste a little hint of the coconut, but it, but not being overpowering. This is some good stuff. Um, you could either use coconut oil or Kerrygold butter. Some people use both. Some people might use a teaspoon of each or a tablespoon of each. The fat. Depending on how much fat you want in your coffee, it's totally on you. I, I have lessened it now. Um, that I'm in in ketosis and I am um, still uh, releasing weight, so I don't add as much. Um, so a half a tablespoon to me is plenty of my coconut oil. And I this is not the brand I usually use, but this is a sugar-free coffee flavoring syrup, and it is sugar-free. And the one I do use is called Da Vinci. I'll put it at the bottom. It's zero carbs. This has one carb, and I bought it by accident. But it's like five bucks, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish it one carb. It, but it does have one carb per two tablespoons. And this stuff is awesome, you guys. They have vanilla and hazelnut. I love the caramel, that's my favorite. But the Da Vinci at um, Walmart is cheaper and it has zero carbs. So in my coffee, unfortunately, I have one carb when I should have zero, but um, I will put the name below this is the cream I use it's the organic valley this one has zero carbs a lot of um, heavy creams have one carb or it say less than one carb but this one has zero so I use this one um, so that is what I have for breakfast and I drink a ton of water I try to drink a gallon of water a day if I don't hit that ga gallon trust me I'm very close because I, I I seem to be very thirsty so I chug a lot of water E P C that's what that stands for, for bulletproof coffee. Some people will be like, what is that? So that, that's what that means. Um, I'll have that in, honestly, not meaning to, I can almost go towards dinner before I feel hungry. And I do a lot of rip and run in between the kids and business stuff. I'm on the go a lot. I'm drinking water, or I might even have a small snack, but I, the bulletproof coffee just seems to hold me. Um, I will eat a lot of leafy greens, like salads for lunch, um, and I'll have a late lunch. It might be 1, 2 o'clock before I really feel hungry. Um, I'll have a salad with like hard-boiled eggs, uh, grilled chicken breast, uh, or chicken thighs. You know, you want a fattier meat because um, this is organic. Um, I put like feta cheese. Um, you can just build your salad to your macros, as long as it's the healthy um, fats that you're allowed to have. Um, and for dinner, I'll have salmon, or I'll have a, a bacon cheeseburger, uh, when, of course, no bun, uh, on a bed of spinach. I'll put the, the uh, Duke's mayonnaise, or I'll make a healthy dressing. So you could really, really make some really cool things. So a lot of these sites that I'm gonna put at the bottom have some great, great recipes. And you can make like casseroles that can last the whole week, or you know, or whatever you could really prep well for this um, I would suggest having plenty of like boiled eggs almonds um, 
uh, healthy organic cheeses. I love pepper jack organic uh, cheese from Trader Joe's. Um, I love a slice of that with some olives. That's a good snack. That's a great snack for me. Um, there's so many little snacks. Um, I also eat a ton of avocados. Love, love, love avocados, you guys. These are organic. I bought at the farmer's market. These are a nice size, too. I'll eat either a half or to a whole each day. Love, love, love. I can't remember which way, uh, whose video it was, but basically they said you really don't even have to count the carbs in these because there's so much good fiber and good fat in these. Um, I still count the net carbs in in these myself um, to make sure I don't go over, but these are awesome. Don't be afraid of avocado fat. This is good fat, you guys. <laughs> there's a Facebook, we have, I have a Facebook page, Cena Getting Fit. Um, if you are doing keto or if you're on a low carb lifestyle, let me know because we, uh, Jay, Gina in Spade has a, a private page, a realistic uh, low carb. And in there, we really help each other with the carbs, uh, keeping each other on you know track or have questions, things like that. We post recipes, all kinds of things. So there's a lot of help out there that, you know, you don't have to do this on your own. It's, it's really, it's not that hard. Um, I'm going to link some books, um, books below that I, I read and did the research I needed to do, uh, Keto Clarity. Um, the Wild Diet is, um, that's something, I'm actually still reading that. Um, the ABC show, My Diet is Better Than Yours. Um, Abel James, I have fallen in love with this guy. He has given some really, really great tips. Um, he teaches you how you can have a cheat day and not feel guilty about it and how to get back on track. Listen, you guys do not take this so doggone serious. Now, if you're one of those people that want to be ripped in, you know, just uh, all the time, fine, have at it. There are some people here on YouTube and God bless them. I learned a lot from them, but they scare me. Um, you can't have this. You can't. Have, I'm not going to live like a drill sergeant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love to cook, I love to bake, I love to do things. So I'm experimenting with the keto lifestyle and, and you know, switching the bad for the good, but I cannot live as strict as some of them tell you to do. It is totally up to you. Please do not, uh, you know, come at me that I'm doing this wrong. I have lost 99 pounds, okay? So I'm doing something right. And I've worked damn hard to get there, you know, and I still have a ways to go, but Hey, I'm getting there, you guys. Um, so don't take it so strict. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you fall off, um, one of my very dear uh, friends that I've had all my life, I love her like a sister, um, she fell off yesterday, had some wine, and you know, she got on the, the uh, private page on Facebook and said, oh, I threw myself out of ketosis. Don't worry about it. You know what? Actually, might throw your uh, metabolism into overdrive once you get back on. So just jump back on and, act, you know, I've gained a pound or two by falling off and then lost three the next week. So don't stress over it. You know, do, get your water in, get your exercise in and, you know, stay within your macros, you know, 98% of the time, 95% of the time. And the rest, you know, once in a while, have a cheat meal. It's okay. So I will link those videos and those uh, information below read them you guys take notes i have no i have notebooks and notebooks of stuff that i learn all the time i watch um like i said gina's videos i watch uh keto uh keto karma's videos i watch keto gabby's i watch um <clears throat> the beauty project we learn from each other products we like products we don't like um it is not that difficult to get started if you start with the keto calculator and you come over to Facebook, we'll help you the rest of the way. It's not that hard. I promise you it's not that hard. The hardest part is getting started, honestly. It really is. Um, I will have to say I made every excuse. I've been there, you guys. I have been there. Um, I've made every damn excuse of why I'm not going to take care of me. You know, f damn, food tastes good, you guys. Heck, I know. You know, as much as I love Oprah... You know, she's, everyone loves Oprah, you know. She touched Weight Watchers and it just blew up. Weight Watchers is an awesome program. And Oprah has a commercial, I think it kind of bothered everybody in the low-carb community. She says she eats bread every day. And we thought it was like a dig at the low-carb community. And that's okay, you know. Um, but 
there are low carb breads out there. There are a ton of low carbs. Now, mind you, they're not all good for you. They're not. Just like everything fat free, most of that stuff is not good for you. What I'm saying is I had to go gluten free for medical reasons. And when I went gluten free, I freed myself of a lot of pain. A lot of pain. The doctors are pumping me full of medicine. They want to put me on chemo. I have lupus. They want to put me on chemo. They want they wanted to do all this crazy stuff to me that I was scared out of my mind. But until I took charge of myself, I I'm not gonna say I cured myself, but I relieved myself of a lot of the damage that I had done over the years. 99 pounds is huge to me. Huge. Huge. And I mean that's a, a a preteen or a teenage kid and but that that's almost another person that is almost another person and I mean like the top I have on now I think it's a medium or large it's, it's not the regular size Walmart thermal shirt I was shopping in the men's section and two X's three X's I was 310 pounds there's a quote if nothing changes nothing changes we have to set goals and we have to have action after that. You can set a goal. goal. That's just a wish if you just set a goal. You can say, oh, I want to walk 10 miles today. Okay. <laughs> and if you don't put strap on your shoes and get out the door, it's never going to happen. You have to take action. So open your computers, get that keto calculator out and find your macros. Start there. Start somewhere. But if you do the same thing you did yesterday, you're going to get the same results you got yesterday. So this time last year, I was miserable. I was unhappy. I didn't know what to do. I was scared, standing on the scale at the doctor's, crying my eyes out because I'm 5'4 and I was 310 pounds. You doggone right, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. How the heck am I gonna lose that much weight? I was tired of going to events and to seeing people I hadn't seen in years. And they're like, what? The hell happened to her why is she so damn big that was embarrassing it is I can use an excuse after excuse why I got bigger my lupus um, I had twins I whatever the case may be I could use an excuse I certainly can but until I stopped making those excuses I was not seeing any results once I started changing me things started changing for me for the better I'm not I have lupus yes I, lupus doesn't have me. I know you've heard that before. But now when I go to the doctors, the doctors are proud of me. The doctors are amazed. The doctors want me to talk to other patients. My flares are so much shorter, so much less. I don't have them as many. I still have them, but I don't use them in a, as an excuse. I don't, I don't use them as an excuse. Because all those excuses are doing are making me fat, unhealthy, and limiting my life, putting a putting an expiration on me somewhere that I don't know. It, I, I could drop dead at any second because of this weight I had on me. Yes, I can step out of this door right now and get hit by a car. Yeah, I know that. But damn it, those paramedics ain't gonna struggle as bad to pick my ass up and get me in that that doggone ambulance. Okay, that's embarrassing. Almost two years ago, I was in a car accident. I was so freaking mortified. The, the paramedics had to lift my butt out of my car because I couldn't, I had injuries. I had significant injuries to my leg. I had to have surgery on my knee. And I was so embarrassed, I tried to get up and walk to the gurney so they didn't have to lift my butt. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Thank God my husband got to the scene and helped me out the car to the gurney so they didn't have to, to lift me. Because I was, I was totally humiliated. I was totally humiliated. They didn't want to let me move because, of course, I had been in a crash. I was humiliated. And I'm tired of that. I, I, had, I was sick and tired of feeling like that. I, I was exhausted. I told you guys that before. You have to love the skin you're in right from the start to the end. But I loved myself enough to know that that was not cute. <laughs> that was 310 on me was not cute y'all you know and you know what there might be an, another young lady out there that's 310 and be like well I love myself girl high five if you love it and you can get around without hurting and you're healthy and 
I'm not, I, now I understand 310 is not healthy on anybody, okay? On, on, especially a 5 4 female. That's not healthy. But if you're feeling sexy in that skin and you can walk around like that, high five, girl. Love you in the skin you're in. And I had to learn to love myself from three, 310, 309, 308, and all the way down. So. Thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and I hope, hopefully that I gave you a little help. Um, I Hopefully the things at the bottom will help you, um, links, and like I said, come on over to Facebook. Even if you just log into my um, scene of Getting Fit, if you need help, just inbox me and I can send you more, some more links or, and, or I will um, bring, uh, add you to the, the private page for Low Carb. Talk to you guys soon.